Have you ever wondered what it truly takes to find inner peace and fulfillment in a world filled with constant distractions and challenges? Imagine waking up each day with a profound sense of calm and purpose, unshaken by the external chaos that surrounds you. This might seem like an unattainable dream, but what if I told you that this state of being can be achieved through the practice of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that offers timeless wisdom for modern living? Stoicism teaches us that the key to a fulfilling life lies not in changing our external circumstances, but in transforming our internal mindset. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and responses, we can cultivate a sense of tranquility and resilience that helps us navigate life's ups and downs with grace and composure. Join me as we embark on this journey into the heart of Stoicism, uncovering practical insights and techniques that can help us live more mindfully, intentionally, and joyfully. Whether you're seeking to overcome stress, improve your relationships, or simply find greater meaning and satisfaction in your daily life, these Stoic principles offer a roadmap to inner peace and fulfillment. Let's begin by exploring the first step, understanding the cause of unhappiness. 1. Understanding the cause of unhappiness. Unhappiness often stems from our perceptions and judgments about our circumstances rather than the circumstances themselves. Stoicism teaches us that it is not external events that disturb us, but our opinions about them. This core principle encourages us to look inward and examine how our thoughts and beliefs shape our experiences. By understanding that our unhappiness is largely self-imposed, we can begin to take control of our emotional well-being. The Stoics believed that the root cause of unhappiness is our attachment to external things, wealth, status, relationships, that are beyond our control. When we tie our happiness to these external factors, we become vulnerable to disappointment and distress. For example, if we base our self-worth on our job title or income, any threat to our career can lead to anxiety and unhappiness. The Stoic approach involves detaching our sense of self from these externals and focusing instead on what we can control, our own thoughts, actions and responses. To truly understand the cause of our unhappiness, we must cultivate self-awareness. This involves regularly reflecting on our thoughts and emotions to identify patterns and triggers. Journaling is a powerful tool for this purpose. By writing down our daily experiences and our reactions to them, we can gain insight into the sources of our distress and begin to challenge the underlying beliefs that perpetuate our unhappiness. Another key aspect of understanding the cause of unhappiness is recognizing the role of expectations. Stoicism teaches us to have realistic expectations about life, and to accept that adversity is an inevitable part of the human experience. When we expect life to be easy or fair, we set ourselves up for disappointment. By adjusting our expectations and accepting the inherent unpredictability of life, we can reduce the impact of external events on our emotional state. 2. Identifying and detaching from the mind the mind is a powerful tool, but it can also be a source of suffering when we become overly attached to our thoughts and emotions. In Stoicism, this attachment is seen as a primary obstacle to inner peace. The practice of identifying and detaching from the mind involves recognizing that we are not our thoughts and that our true self exists beyond the mental chatter. To begin this practice, it is essential to develop the skill of observing our thoughts without judgment. This means noticing the flow of thoughts as they arise and pass away, without getting caught up in them or identifying with them. This perspective allows us to see thoughts as mere mental events, not as definitive truths or reflections of our identity. By creating this mental space, we can prevent ourselves from being swept away by negative or irrational thinking. 
Detachment from the mind also involves questioning the validity of our thoughts. Stoicism encourages us to apply reason and logic to our thinking processes. When a thought arises, ask yourself, is this thought true? Is it helpful? Does it align with my values and goals? By critically examining our thoughts, we can let go of those that are harmful or unproductive. Mindfulness meditation is a practical technique for identifying and detaching from the mind. This practice involves sitting quietly and bringing our attention to the present moment, typically by focusing on the breath. When thoughts arise, we gently acknowledge them and return our focus to the breath. Over time, this practice helps us cultivate a state of awareness and detachment, reducing the power that our thoughts have over us. Another important aspect of this practice is understanding the transient nature of thoughts and emotions. Stoicism teaches that everything is in a constant state of flux, including our mental states. By recognizing the impermanent nature of our thoughts and emotions, we can cultivate a sense of equanimity and resilience. This understanding allows us to experience our thoughts without becoming overly attached or affected by them. 3. The practice of observing your thoughts. Observing your thoughts is a foundational practice in Stoicism, central to achieving mental clarity and emotional resilience. This practice involves becoming a neutral observer of your own mind, watching the flow of thoughts without judgment or attachment. The goal is to create a mental space where you can examine your thoughts objectively rather than being swept away by them. To practice observing your thoughts, start by setting aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. As you do this, allow your thoughts to come and go naturally. Instead of engaging with each thought, simply note its presence and let it pass. You might mentally label each thought, e.g. worrying, planning, judging, to help maintain a sense of detachment. The key to this practice is maintaining a gentle and non-judgmental attitude. It's normal for your mind to wander or become caught up in thoughts. When this happens, gently bring your attention back to your breath and continue observing. Over time, this practice can help you become more aware of your mental patterns and less reactive to negative or intrusive thoughts. Observing your thoughts can also be applied in everyday situations. For example, when you notice yourself becoming stressed or anxious, take a moment to pause and observe the thoughts contributing to these feelings. Ask yourself, what am I thinking right now? Are these thoughts based on reality or are they assumptions and projections? By examining your thoughts in this way, you can gain clarity and reduce their emotional impact. This practice aligns with the Stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control. We cannot control the external events that trigger our thoughts, but we can control how we respond to them. By observing our thoughts, we can choose to respond with wisdom and calmness rather than reacting impulsively or irrationally. This shift in perspective can lead to greater emotional stability and inner peace. 4. Creating space for presence and stillness. In a world that is constantly busy and full of distractions, creating space for presence and stillness is more important than ever. Stoicism emphasizes the value of taking time to be present, to reflect, and to connect with our inner selves. This practice allows us to step back from the chaos of everyday life and cultivate a sense of tranquility and focus. Creating space for presence and stillness involves setting aside regular time for solitude and reflection. This could be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to sit quietly and breathe, or dedicating longer periods to activities like meditation, journaling, or walking in nature. The goal is to create a sanctuary of calm where you can reconnect with yourself and your values. One effective way to create space for presence is through the practice of mindful breathing. 
This involves focusing your attention on your breath as it flows in and out of your body. By bringing your awareness to the present moment, you can quiet the mental chatter and experience a sense of inner stillness. This practice can be done anywhere, at any time, making it a valuable tool for managing stress and cultivating mindfulness. Another important aspect of creating space for presence and stillness is reducing distractions. This might involve setting boundaries with technology, such as limiting screen time or turning off notifications to minimize interruptions and create a more peaceful environment. It can also mean simplifying your surroundings and schedule, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. Stoicism teaches that true presence involves being fully engaged in whatever you are doing without being preoccupied with past regrets or future worries. By creating space for presence and stillness, you can develop the ability to be more mindful and attentive in your daily activities. This not only enhances your overall well-being, but also improves your relationships and productivity. Finally, creating space for presence and stillness helps to cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and inner peace. When we take the time to be still and present, we can gain insight into our thoughts, emotions and behaviours. This self-awareness is essential for personal growth and for living in alignment with our values. By regularly practicing presence and stillness, we can create a foundation of calm and clarity that supports us in all aspects of life. 5. The Essence and Benefits of Meditation Meditation is a core practice in Stoicism, valued for its ability to cultivate mindfulness, clarity and inner peace. At its essence, meditation involves focusing the mind on a single point of reference, such as the breath, a mantra or an image, to quiet the mental chatter and develop a state of relaxed awareness. The benefits of meditation are profound and wide-ranging, impacting both our mental and physical well-being. The essence of Stoic meditation lies in its simplicity and focus on the present moment. By bringing our attention to the present, we can let go of past regrets and future anxieties, experiencing a sense of peace and clarity. This practice helps to develop a deeper awareness of our thoughts and emotions, allowing us to observe them without judgment or attachment. Over time, this awareness can lead to greater emotional resilience and mental stability. One of the primary benefits of meditation is its ability to reduce stress and anxiety. Studies have shown that regular meditation can lower levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, and increase feelings of relaxation and well-being. By calming the mind and body, meditation helps to counteract the negative effects of stress and promote a sense of inner peace. This is particularly important in today's fast-paced world, where chronic stress is a common issue. Meditation also enhances concentration and focus, improving our ability to stay present and engaged in our activities. This increased focus can lead to greater productivity and efficiency, both in our personal and professional lives. By training the mind to maintain attention, meditation helps us to be more mindful and deliberate in our actions, reducing the tendency to act impulsively or reactively. Another significant benefit of meditation is its impact on emotional regulation. By observing our thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them, we can develop a more balanced and equanimous mindset. This allows us to respond to challenges and setbacks with greater calm and composure rather than being overwhelmed by negative emotions. Meditation teaches us to accept our experiences with equanimity, fostering a sense of inner strength and resilience. Additionally, meditation can deepen our sense of connection with ourselves and others. By cultivating a state of presence and awareness, we can develop greater empathy and compassion, enhancing our relationships and fostering a sense of community. This connection is not only beneficial for our mental and emotional well-being, 
but also aligns with the Stoic principles of virtue and social harmony. 6. Embracing the childlike perspective and innocence. Embracing a childlike perspective and innocence is about reconnecting with the natural curiosity, wonder and openness that we often lose as we grow older. In Stoicism, this approach can help us view life with fresh eyes, allowing us to appreciate the present moment and the simple joys of existence. Children are naturally curious, unburdened by the weight of past regrets and future anxieties, and they approach each day with a sense of discovery and possibility. To cultivate a childlike perspective, we must learn to let go of our preconceived notions and judgments. This means approaching each experience with an open mind and a willingness to see things as they are, rather than through the lens of our past experiences and biases. By doing so, we can break free from the mental patterns that limit our perception and embrace a more expansive and creative way of thinking. One way to reconnect with this childlike innocence is to engage in activities that spark joy and curiosity. This could involve exploring nature, trying new hobbies, or simply taking time to play and have fun. By allowing ourselves to be playful and spontaneous, we can tap into the innate sense of wonder that children naturally possess. This not only enhances our overall well-being, but also fosters a sense of creativity and innovation. Embracing a childlike perspective also involves cultivating a sense of humility and openness to learning. Children are eager to learn and grow, and they approach new experiences with an attitude of curiosity and wonder. As adults, we can benefit from adopting this mindset, recognizing that there is always more to learn and discover. This humility allows us to remain open to new ideas and perspectives, enhancing our personal growth and development. In Stoicism, the concept of beginner's mind is closely related to this childlike perspective. It encourages us to approach each moment with a sense of curiosity and openness, free from the burden of past knowledge and expectations. By cultivating a beginner's mind, we can experience life more fully and appreciate the beauty and richness of the present moment. Finally, embracing the childlike perspective and innocence helps us to cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the simple things in life. Children find joy in the smallest of things, a flower, a game, a story, and this ability to appreciate the present can greatly enhance our own happiness and contentment. By reconnecting with this sense of wonder, we can transform our daily experiences and find deeper meaning and fulfillment in our lives. 7. Overcoming Mental Habits and the Ego Mental habits and the ego are significant obstacles to achieving inner peace and fulfillment. In Stoicism, overcoming these barriers involves recognizing and challenging the mental patterns that keep us stuck in negative thinking and behavior. It also requires a conscious effort to transcend the ego, which often drives our actions and reactions in ways that are not aligned with our true values and desires. The first step in overcoming mental habits is to become aware of them. This involves observing our thoughts and behaviors and identifying the patterns that contribute to our distress and dissatisfaction. Common mental habits include negative self-talk, excessive worrying, and ruminating on past mistakes. By bringing these patterns into our conscious awareness, we can begin to challenge and change them. Stoicism teaches us to use reason and logic to evaluate our thoughts and beliefs. When we identify a negative mental habit, we can ask ourselves whether it is based on reality and whether it serves our best interests. For example, if we often think, I'm not good enough, we can examine the evidence for and against this belief. By doing so, we can begin to replace irrational thoughts with more realistic and constructive ones. Overcoming the ego is another crucial aspect of this process. 
The ego is our sense of self-importance and separateness from others. It often drives us to seek approval, compete with others, and react defensively to perceived threats. In Stoicism, the goal is to transcend the ego by cultivating humility and recognizing our interconnectedness with others. This involves letting go of the need for external validation and focusing on our inner virtues and values. One way to transcend the ego is to practice self-compassion. This means treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a friend. When we make mistakes or face challenges, instead of harshly judging ourselves, we can acknowledge our humanity and offer ourselves support and encouragement. This helps to reduce the power of the ego and allows us to respond to difficulties with greater resilience and grace. Mindfulness meditation is also a valuable tool for overcoming mental habits and the ego. By regularly practicing mindfulness, we can develop greater awareness of our thoughts and emotions and learn to observe them without attachment. This helps us to detach from the ego and respond to situations with greater clarity and equanimity. In addition, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control and to accept what is not. This principle can help us to overcome the ego's tendency to try to control everything and everyone around us. By recognizing the limits of our control and accepting the natural flow of life, we can reduce stress and anxiety and cultivate a sense of inner peace. 8. Recognizing and Trusting the Great Mind Recognizing and trusting the great mind refers to the stoic concept of the Logos, the rational and organizing principle of the universe. The Stoics believed that everything happens according to the Logos and that we are all connected to this universal intelligence. By aligning our minds with the Logos, we can live in harmony with nature and experience a deep sense of peace and fulfillment. To recognize and trust the great mind, we must first cultivate a sense of humility and reverence for the natural order of things. This involves acknowledging that we are part of a larger whole and that our individual lives are interconnected with the greater universe. By seeing ourselves as integral parts of this vast, intelligent system, we can develop a sense of trust and acceptance. One way to connect with the great mind is through the practice of contemplation. This involves reflecting on the beauty and order of the natural world and considering our place within it. By contemplating the intricacies of nature and the universe, we can gain a sense of awe and appreciation for the Logos and our connection to it. Trusting the great mind also involves letting go of the need to control everything and trusting that there is a greater plan at work. This does not mean becoming passive or resigned, but rather recognizing that there are limits to our control and that some things are best left to the natural flow of the universe. By trusting in the Logos, we can reduce our anxiety and cultivate a sense of peace and acceptance. In Stoicism, the practice of gratitude is another way to recognize and trust the great mind. By regularly reflecting on the things we are grateful for, we can develop a deeper appreciation for the blessings and opportunities in our lives. This helps to shift our focus from what is lacking to what is abundant, fostering a sense of trust and contentment. Furthermore, trusting the great mind involves cultivating an attitude of resilience and adaptability. The Stoics believed that challenges and adversities are opportunities for growth and that by accepting and learning from them, we can become stronger and wiser. By trusting in the wisdom of the Logos, we can face difficulties with courage and equanimity, knowing that they are part of the natural order of things. 9. Living fully in the present moment Living fully in the present moment is a central tenet of Stoicism, emphasizing the importance of mindfulness and presence. The present moment is the only time we truly have, and by fully engaging with it, we can experience life more deeply and authentically. 
This practice involves letting go of past regrets and future anxieties and focusing our attention on the here and now. To live fully in the present moment, we must cultivate mindfulness, the practice of bringing our awareness to the present without judgment. This can be achieved through various techniques such as mindful breathing, meditation, and mindful observation of our surroundings. By regularly practicing mindfulness, we can develop the habit of being present and attentive in our daily activities. One of the key benefits of living in the present moment is the reduction of stress and anxiety. When we are fully engaged in the present, we are less likely to be consumed by worries about the future or regrets about the past. This allows us to experience a sense of peace and clarity, enhancing our overall well-being. Living in the present also helps us to develop deeper and more meaningful relationships. By being fully present with others, we can listen more attentively, communicate more effectively, and connect more authentically. This fosters a sense of intimacy and trust, enriching our interactions and strengthening our bonds with others. Furthermore, being present allows us to fully appreciate and enjoy the simple pleasures of life. Whether it's savoring a meal, enjoying a walk in nature, or spending time with loved ones, being mindful helps us to experience these moments more vividly and with greater joy. This enhances our overall sense of happiness and fulfillment. Stoicism teaches that the present moment is where we have the power to act and make choices. By focusing on the present, we can take deliberate and purposeful actions that align with our values and goals. This empowers us to live with greater intention and integrity, creating a life that is true to our deepest principles. Finally, living in the present moment helps us to cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciation for life. By being mindful of the present, we can recognize and cherish the beauty and richness of our experiences. This fosters a sense of contentment and fulfillment, allowing us to live more fully and authentically. 10. Achieving Unified Consciousness and Inner Peace Achieving unified consciousness and inner peace is the ultimate goal of Stoic practice, representing a state of harmony and integration within ourselves and with the universe. This involves aligning our thoughts, emotions and actions with our deepest values and principles and cultivating a sense of inner tranquility and fulfillment. Unified consciousness refers to a state of coherence and balance within our minds where our thoughts, emotions and actions are in harmony. This is achieved through the practice of self-awareness, mindfulness and intentional living. By regularly reflecting on our thoughts and behaviours and making deliberate choices that align with our values, we can create a sense of inner harmony and coherence. One of the key aspects of achieving unified consciousness is developing a strong sense of self-awareness. This involves regularly examining our thoughts, emotions and behaviours and identifying any patterns or tendencies that are out of alignment with our values. By bringing these into conscious awareness, we can make deliberate and intentional changes to create a more coherent and harmonious state of mind. Mindfulness meditation is a valuable tool for cultivating unified consciousness. By practicing mindfulness, we can develop greater awareness of our thoughts and emotions and learn to observe them without attachment. This helps us to create a sense of inner space and clarity, allowing us to respond to situations with greater wisdom and equanimity. Inner peace, on the other hand, is a state of tranquility and contentment that arises from living in alignment with our values and principles. This involves letting go of the need for external validation and focusing on our inner virtues and strengths. By cultivating inner peace, we can experience a sense of fulfillment and well-being, regardless of external circumstances. Stoicism teaches that inner peace is achieved by focusing on what is within our control and accepting what is not. 
This involves recognizing the limits of our control and letting go of the need to control everything and everyone around us. By accepting the natural flow of life and trusting in the wisdom of the Logos, we can reduce stress and anxiety and cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment. Gratitude is another important aspect of achieving inner peace. By regularly reflecting on the things we are grateful for, we can develop a deeper appreciation for the blessings and opportunities in our lives. This helps to shift our focus from what is lacking to what is abundant, fostering a sense of contentment and fulfillment. Finally, achieving unified consciousness and inner peace involves living with intention and purpose. This means making deliberate choices that align with our values and principles and taking actions that reflect our deepest beliefs. By living with intention and purpose, we can create a life that is true to our deepest selves and experience a sense of fulfillment and well-being. In conclusion, the ten main headings of Stoicism provide a comprehensive framework for personal growth and fulfillment. By integrating these principles into our daily practice, we can cultivate a resilient and virtuous character capable of facing life's challenges with grace and wisdom. Each principle encourages a mindful and intentional approach to living, emphasizing the importance of internal virtues over external circumstances. As we embrace these Stoic teachings, we embark on a transformative journey towards becoming our best selves, creating a life of purpose, integrity and enduring fulfillment.